Yes, the incidence of all malignant cancers combined was lower among fish-only eaters and vegetarians compared to the healthy meat eaters, but the most striking difference between the dietary groups was in the risk for the group of cancers that include lymphomas and myeloma. Since they factored out other lifestyle differences between the meat eaters and vegetarians, similar smoking, exercise weight, fruit and veggie consumption, they concluded that meat itself may be the culprit, potentially due to the mutagenic compounds or viruses in meat, but that raised the question, what type of meat? To get at that level of detail, you would need to look at a lot of people. So they enrolled the help of not just any study, but the EPIC study, E-P-I-C, the largest forward-looking study on diet and cancer in human history, following a half million people for over 10 years now. What type of meat was the worst? They looked at red meat, beef and pork, processed meat like a bacon, ham, and sausage, poultry, chicken and turkey, also offal, which true to its name means uh, entrails and organs, in practical terms that's you know, liver, heart, kidneys, pancreas, blood, thymus, brain, stomach, feet, tongue, tail, as well as the head and eyeballs. They also looked at eggs and dairy. Which was most significantly associated with the risk of developing lymphoma? Red meat, processed meat, poultry, offal, eggs, or milk? It was poultry consumption, associated with a significantly increased risk of non-Hodgkin's lymphoma, all grades of follicular lymphoma, B-cell lymphomas in general, including B-cell chronic lymphatic leukemia, including small lymphocytic leukemia and pro-lymphocytic lymphocytic leukemia, up to triple the rates for every 50 grams of daily poultry consumption. Uh, a cooked chicken breast averages over 200 grams, so that's for just a quarter of a chicken breast worth of poultry.